Hi, my name is Saffron and welcome to the Tiny Edition. I'm here with Jim Chalmers. Can I call you Jim? You can call me whatever you want, Saffron. I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, shoot. A few questions. What were you like as a kid? I was a bit of a naughty kid for a little while, but mostly a good kid. That's good. That's really good. What is a fun fact people don't know about you? My daughter, Annabelle, when I go away to Canberra for work, she paints my toes with glitter nail polish. <laughs> so that paint your toes? Yeah, my toenails with glitter nail polish. So that when I'm away, I see that my toes have got glitter on them and I think of her. Whoa, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a funny dad moment you can share? Sometimes in my work, I take my kids to work and one time when one of my sons was really little, he didn't want to be at the work thing I was at and it was election time and I was meeting people I was hoping would vote for me and my little boy said to me in front of this lady that I hadn't met before, he said, I don't want to talk to this crazy lady. <gasps> oh no, yeah. what happened? So, uh, it was pretty awkward. It was pretty awkward. We all kind of pretended it didn't happen and we kind of moved on. Oh, yeah. What songs do you listen in the car? I listen to some kinds of music when my kids are in there and they always say, can I be the DJ? And so I have to give them my phone and then they punch in songs into Spotify. And so that's the kind of music we listen to. Usually Annabelle chooses something. And when my kids aren't in the car, I listen to hip hop music like Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. and Nas. Have you ever heard of any of them? Don't think so. I don't think that's probably for the best. Okay. If you could do any other job, what would it be? Mm. I reckon I would be a writer. I reckon I would write cool books. That's pretty cool. Well, I would like to be a movie star like you, or I'd like to play for the Broncos, but I'm a bit old and a bit slow, so maybe I could be a writer and write books. What kind of writer would you like to be, and what would the book be about? I like writing about the world and thinking about the world. I like thinking about... Uh, going to interesting places and understanding different cultures and I like reading about all of that. So I, if I could be any kind of writer, I think I'd be that kind of writer. Who has had the biggest influence on you? My mum. My mum's name's Carol and she's had a big influence on me because when I was growing up, for a little chunk of when I was growing up, it was just me and her. She was a nurse for almost 50 years. She was looking after other people and she used to work night shift so that we would have food to eat and somewhere to live. And so my mum. And I also had some amazing teachers, including an old German guy called Norbert Grulich, and he was a big influence on my life too. So my mum and Norbert, a teacher. How do you keep in touch with your kids while you're away and do you miss them? Yeah, I miss them every single minute that I'm away from them. And we try and do FaceTime couple of times a day and my oldest boy who's eight not quite as old as you he's getting good at texting now he likes to text me funny emojis and so I really like that they make me little videos that I watch and sometimes I watch them even when I'm in meetings and sometimes I even watch them when I'm in the parliament who are the most famous people in your phone in my phone the Prime Minister Anthony Albanese have you heard of him yeah yeah there's a guy who plays for Australia plays for cricket called Usman Khawaja and there's a guy who used to be the captain of Australia for rugby league called Darren Lockyer. That's cool, because I watch rugby league. Do you? Yeah, I watch you the... You the Broncos? Um, yeah. Fantastic, what a relief. What's the last picture on your camera roll? I take a lot of photos of my kids, right? You want to see it? So I'm going to show you my little boy. He's called Jackie. And that is Jack with a chocolate milkshake smeared all over his face and wearing his dad's sunglasses. And if you look closely, you can see his dad in the reflection of his sunglasses. Thank you so much for watching. This has been really great and fun asking Jim questions. Bye.